The Swift language has been open source since the end of 2015. And if you want to be on the cutting edge of Swift, you want to see the new features before they're officially released, you want to follow along the development of it, this is how you do it, the Swift Evolution website. So on the left, we have the color-coded status, essentially. So these proposals are in active review. I'm gonna keep scrolling down. These are the proposals that have been accepted and will be implemented into the Swift language at a later date. And then we'll keep going down, you know, previewing, and these are the ones that have been implemented. So you can go back in history and see the proposals, the discussion around the proposals, around why a certain feature was implemented into the Swift language. So you can go back and get a little history lesson. But let's dive in a little bit to one that's in active review here. So add sleep for clock. Clock was something that was introduced in Swift 5.7. If you want to see what's coming in, you know, potentially Swift 5.8, 5.9, whatever the next version is, this is a good way to check that out. So if you click into this, this will take you to the GitHub proposal here. And I love this. This is broken down into so much detail to learn about clock and why we should add sleep for clock. So there's the introduction giving you background about you know what this even is what is the motivation for adding sleep to clock so you get to write up on the motivation in the code and i'm just using this sleep for clock as an example this is for everything that goes into the swift language you get this type of write-up and then so we'll go to the motivation for it and then here's the proposed solution with code examples and why you chose that stuff and then normally there's alternatives considered will there be other code examples saying Hey, I tried this method. This is why I didn't choose to go this way for this implementation. So you can get more context on that. And then what I like about these features, if you go up to click on the pitch at the top, you can go to the Swift forums where this was originally pitched and you can see the discussion in the forums. Uh, so this is the original pitch. And then you can see people are responding. Hey, what about testing? And they ask questions about the proposal. And it's a discussion to really hash out the pros and cons of adding this, maybe changing it a little bit. And sometimes these discussions in these forums can get heated depending on the topic. But like I said, if you wanna be on the cutting edge of Swift, you wanna see the features before they happen and take part in how Swift is evolving and growing over time, following the Swift Evolution website is the way to do that.